The winner of today's huge stargazing wolf is Mr. Factuals. Thank you for commenting and watching all of the videos. And if you guys watching today's episode want a chance at a free huge pet, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name. We're gonna be showing you guys the secret loadout that a lot of top players are using to make it to the top of the leaderboards and get millions of items. Let's get right into it. What's up guys? My name is D Field and welcome back to another episode of Pet Simulator 99 here on Roblox. We've been AFK grinding for the past two days and as you guys might know there is a secret enchantment loadout that has been passed around the community. I do need to give a quick shout out to Mateo because he was the first YouTuber to upload something about this actual nightmare orb enchant. Ladies and gentlemen, right at the start of today's video, let me go ahead and finish off this boss chest in a couple of seconds right there, but we're gonna go ahead and reveal the enchantment loadout that most of the top players are using in the clan battle. The nightmare orb enchantment is the secret sleeper. Paired with the corruption spell, most players in the top leaderboards are able to actually kill this boss chest in about five to 10 seconds when paired along with the pet surge ultimate. Hopefully, some of you guys who might still be able to afford these nightmare orbs are able to get some off of the plaza but they have actually risen in price over the past couple of days because a lot of clan members are utilizing them it's kind of crazy to think about how this nightmare orb enchant a couple of days before the update was really seen as something that was not really worth it down to about 11 million gems as you guys can see on that graph right there but as soon as the update was found out and more players realize that the Nightmare Orb enchant really worked well with the boss chest. Look how high the price of this Nightmare Orb enchant has actually skyrocketed, approaching over 70 million gems right now. We were lucky enough to pick our four books for about 30 to 45 million each when I was still testing these. So, hey, huge shout outs to Mateo. Thank you so much for showing the rest of the community the power of these Nightmare Orbs. Let me show you guys here real quick. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of a test of what exactly I do, but if I can get my screen to spin here, all you guys got to do is uh, tap the right arrow on your keyboard and then literally hit the chat button so that it opens up and then nonstop spins. I'm sorry if this makes you guys a little bit dizzy, but this is some of the things that you guys have to do when you guys are kind of going for maximum ultimates with my pet search activated and the rest of the auto clicker going on. You guys can see, I kill these boss chests in a matter of seconds. So many points for the clan, as well as that massive item bomb that you guys just saw right there. Okay, let's stop the screen spinning for right now. It does make me a little bit dizzy, I'm not gonna lie. But because of how fast we are breaking these, we are getting so much freaking loot. The boss chest is definitely gonna change the way some of the items and some of the prices are in the marketplace because I'm not even showing you guys most of the books that I received overnight because I already traded them over to an alt account. But you guys can see right here, you get a lot of these high tier seven, eight, nine enchantments. Those of you guys who are still missing your top tier enchants, killing this boss chest over and over again for a single day will definitely net you a whole bunch of freaking loot. And with an auto clicker and the nightmare orbs, you guys can utilize it to kind of basically farm this chest non-stop as long as you have a full team of huges all of you guys can kind of think of this boss chest as sort of like a mini event right now like look at all these items that i get from this freaking item bomb isn't that crazy dude once again i would highly recommend you guys trying out the nightmare orb loadout a lot of players are utilizing this right now it is kind of on the more expensive side but it's still definitely worth a lot of testing all right super Super Magnet, four Nightmare Orbs, one Empowered Criticals, one Empowered Tap. Some players like to do two Empowered Taps instead of the Criticals, but I'll leave that testing up to you guys. Now the Corruption Book is the enchantment.
enchantment that kind of ties everything together. If you're able to get one of the corruptions to proc right at the start of the chest, it literally melts the HP of this entire chest right here. Like, look how fast this actually dies when the corruption procs right at the start of the chest, man. Literally less than 10 seconds per boss chest for all of that loot. I hope you guys give the Nightmare Orb a chance. It is a little bit more expensive right now, but if you think about it, it's only the price of about one huge, you know what I mean? One of these Nightmare Orbs is the current price of the huge right now. And you know what? We're actually gonna hop on over to my alt account. I'm gonna move my main over to the other monitor so that we can AFK a little bit on it because obviously I don't wanna be losing out on any of the clan battle points while we talk about the rest of today's episode, all right? Because the market here on Pet Sim has gone absolutely insane. Okay, let me double check that my main is farming away. It looks fine. We are looking good over there. Okay, it's fine. Now here on the trade plaza alt, you guys can see that we've made 394 million diamonds. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at some of the items and some of the enchants that have not yet sold yet. Like literally, look at this. Almost a thousand of the coins books. That's gonna be about a hundred million in diamonds. And this is just from farming overnight on that boss chest on the main account. So you guys can kind of tell that that boss chest will be dropping you guys a lot of high tier enchants, a lot of high tier potions as well. I know that the nightmare orb enchant might seem like a pretty, you know, pricey investment. You're gonna be spending about what, like two or 300 million to get four of them. But I guarantee you with a couple of days left of the actual boss chest clan battle, I would 100% recommend it. You will make your money back in just the books alone. It's actually insane. I do still have a lot of books to sell over here. Hopefully they do end up selling over the next couple of hours. Now in the trade plaza, last week on Thursday, we talked about this a little bit and I told you guys, buy up all of your huges. Do not sit on diamonds this weekend going into the update because your diamonds are gonna be losing its buying power. Now, if we search up computer over here in the actual terminal, already my predictions have come true and it does look like the huge happy computers have already surpassed that 75 million mark. It's kind of crazy how fast this entire marketplace has been kind of expanding and inflating upwards. And if you guys right now watching today's video do not have a team of 99 huges yet, I would strongly recommend just picking up happy computers, maybe picking up some of these huge cyber agonies or another really good alternative nowadays because of the buff in crystal keys is the huge wizard Westy. The wizard Westy is an amazing looking pet and on top of that it's actually slightly cheaper by a couple mil right now compared to the happy computers and the happy rocks so for those of you guys who might still be building out your teams the westy might be a good alternative like look at this level 19 for 74 mil that's cheaper than the computers we were literally just looking at now with this clan battle event going on now is the best time to afford your huges guys okay before the market gets too crazy before all of the huges start to get inflated into the two three, four, maybe even 500 million range for some of these happy computers and lower huges. Build out your team right now, guys. Get into the process of getting 99 huges, whether they're low or high, or maybe even some of the gold huges. You really just want to finish that full 99 team so that you guys can start to experience some of the farming in the end game, like some of the end game players are. The sooner that you guys have your full team of 99 huges, I guarantee you the more fun you will be having just because you're able to kind of farm, you're able to trade, you're able to do all aspects of every single update. I would strongly freaking recommend it, guys. In just a matter of four days, the huge happy computers have risen another five or six million in RAP price. And I really don't think this market is going to slow down anytime soon. By the end of the week, on Friday, I'm assuming these happy computers might be at about 78 to 79 million wrap price. And all of the other huges might even be a little bit higher than that. I guess only time will tell where this PS99 market will go. I am going to be spending the next couple of days selling all of the loot from the boss chests, all of the loot from the pinatas, and I do need to show you guys this, okay? So obviously my main account is over here farming in the boss chest room, but you guys will notice that the pinata sort of notification is still going on up top. And if I pull open my other alt account over here, we're literally on the same server as my main who's just through those doors. My alt account over here with a full team of gold huges is still farming pinatas. I'm still trying to see whether or not this entire 
method is worth it but as you guys can see with a full team of gold huges this method still kind of works we're gonna be farming pinatas we're gonna be farming in the last area for all of our actual uh, clan battle points at the end of the day i still haven't tried out that brand new mini game and i just don't really think it's worth my time but anyways i think that is gonna be the perfect time to wrap up today's video we've got a lot of selling to do i've got a lot more afking for the clan battle and obviously we're gonna be farming up a whole bunch of books i'm gonna try to save up all the loot until the very end of the week and then sell everything at once just to show you guys how much we made in one sort of clan battle mini event but i hope you guys have a fantastic monday happy memorial day to all of my u.s audience out there don't forget to check out some of these videos that's popping up on your screen right now we'll see you guys again very soon